In Norse mythology, Valhalla is a majestic, enormous hall located in Asgard, ruled over by the god Odin. Chosen by Odin himself, half of those who die in combat travel to Valhalla upon death, led by Valkyries, while the other half go to the goddess Freya's field Folkvanger. In Valhalla, the dead warriors join the masses of those who have died in combat known as the Einherger and various legendary Germanic heroes and kings, as they prepare to aid Odin during the events of Ragnarok. Before the hall stands the golden tree Glacier, and the hall's ceiling is thatched with golden shields. Various creatures live around Valhalla, such as the stag Akirnir and the goat Aaron, both described as standing atop Valhalla and consuming the foliage of the tree Lyra. Valhalla is attested in the Poetic Edda, compiled in the 13th century from earlier traditional sources. Valhalla has inspired various works of art, publication titles, and elements of popular culture, and has become a term synonymous with a martial hall of the chosen dead. In Swedish folklore, some mountains that were traditionally regarded as abodes of the dead were also called Valhall. It is therefore possible that the name derives from that word and originally referred to an underworld, not a hall. In the mythologic poem Grimnismal, the god Odin states that Valhalla is located in the realm of Glasheimer. Odin describes Valhalla as shining and golden, and that it rises peacefully when seen from afar and has 540 doors that 800 men can exit from at once. From Valhalla, every day Odin chooses from those who have died in combat and the hall has spear shafts for rafters, a roof thatched with shields, coats of mail are strewn over its benches, a wolf hangs in front of its west doors, and an eagle hovers above it, the holy doors of the ancient gate Valgrind stand before Valhalla. Within Valhalla exists Thor's hall Bilskirnir, where he lives with his wife Seif and their children, and within it exists 540 rooms, and of all the halls within Valhalla, Odin states that he thinks his sons may be greatest. The goat Aaron and the stag Akirnir stand on top of Valhalla and graze on the branches of the tree Lyra. Aaron produces vats of mead that liquor cannot be compared to, and from Akirnir's antlers drip liquid into the spring Hvergelmir from which flows forth all waters. Valhalla is first mentioned in the book Gulverginning, where it is described partially in euhemerized form. In the chapter, the Scandinavian king, Gylfi sets out to Asgard in the guise of an old man going by the name of Gangleri to find the source of the power of the gods. The narrative states that the gods foresaw his arrival and had prepared grand illusions for him, so that when Gangurli enters the fortress, he sees a hall of such a height that he has trouble seeing over it, and notices that the roof of the hall is covered in golden shields, as if they were shingles. As he continues, Gangleri sees a man in the doorway of the hall juggling short swords, and keeping seven in the air at once. Among other things, the man says that the hall belongs to his gods, and adds that he can take Gangleri to the gods. Gangleri follows him, and the door closes behind him. All around him he sees many living areas, and throngs of people, some of which are playing games, some are drinking, and others are fighting with weapons. Gangleri sees three thrones, and three figures sitting upon them. High being the king of the hall. Gangleri asks, you say that all men who have fallen in battle from the beginning of the world are now with Odin in Valhalla. With what does he feed them? I should think the crowd there is large. Hai responds that this is indeed true, that a huge amount are already in Valhalla, but yet this amount will seem to be too few when the wolf comes. Hai describes that there are never too many to feed in Valhalla, for they feast from Seirimanir, a creature killed and cooked every day for the gods, and is again whole every night. Gangleri asks if Odin himself eats the same food as the, the other gods, and Hai responds that Odin needs nothing to eat, Odin only consumes wine, and he gives his food to his wolves Jerry and Freki. Hai also states that at sunrise, Odin sends his ravens Huggin and Moonan from Valhalla to fly throughout the entire world, and they return in time for the first meal there. Gangleri muses that Valhalla must be quite crowded, to which Hai responds by stating that Valhalla is massive and remains roomy despite the large amount of inhabitants. Gangleri says that Odin seems to be quite a powerful lord, as he controls quite a big army, but he yet wonders how the Einherger keep themselves busy when they are not drinking. High replies that daily, after they've dressed and put on their war gear, they go out to the courtyard and battle in one-on-one -on -one combat for sport. Then, when mealtime comes, they ride home to Valhalla and drink. 
Hai describes that, right at the beginning, when the gods were settling, they had established Asgard and then built Valhalla. The concept of Valhalla continues to have influence in modern popular culture. Examples include the Valhalla Temple built by Leo von Klenz for Ludwig I of Bavaria between 1830-1847 near Regensburg, Germany, and the Tresco Abbey Gardens Valhalla Museum built by August Smith around 1830 to house ship figureheads from shipwrecks that occurred at the Isles of Scilly, England, where the museum is located.